All right, guys. So today there's a big story developing about Chris Tyson for Mr. Beast. Allegedly, they are accused of talking to minors. Now, this reminds me of an incident that just happened not too long ago. If you remember, Dr. Disrespect was just thrown out as somebody that was a pedophile, somebody that was sexed in minors, being completely inappropriate, and we saw how bad he got canceled. And Chris Tyson is on the hot seat today, and we're not seeing one single major mainstream website cover this. No news articles, nothing. I learned this from Drama Alert. It seems like the people that were the most vocal about Dr. Disrespect are silent today. I remember I read tweets from all these people saying that the right-wingers like Nick Merckx were protecting a pedophile like Dr. Disrespect, right? Let me come out here and say this right now, and I said it back then. Dr. Disrespect, not excused for his behavior with a minor. It's not appropriate to be inappropriate with anybody that's a minor, especially when you're a big influencer like Dr. Disrespect. But the main reason why they went after him was because of Nick Merckx saying the leave the children alone stuff with that whole post that got him removed from Call of Duty and it caused all that commotion where people just think we're a whole bunch of hateful bigots that hate transgender people. Well, it's funny when it's an actual transgender individual like Chris Tyson that's being called out allegedly, right, and people are silent. Those same people that had that energy for Dr. Disrespect are absolutely quiet. And it's that woke hypocrisy. Now, looking at this tweet, you can see Chris Tyson from Mr. Beast has been accused of talking to minors. Two videos over the last 30 days outline an alleged sexually inappropriate relationship with a minor that started with the minor at age 13 with plans to meet up with same minor at age 16. Chris Tyson, who no goes, now goes by Ava, has yet to respond to these allegations. And it shows a couple of clips right here. Let's go ahead. This ain't true. And this screenshot is Chris Tyson talking one-on-one -on -one with him. And at this point, he would have been 16. And here we go. Here is the picture of them meeting up together. I'm going to censor his face. And as you can see right there, there, there's Carl right there. There's Chris Tyson right there. Chris Tyson was talking to this guy since he was 13. Chris Tyson was in college. And of course... Real quick, this is off topic. Why is there a Sonichu medallion on this guy's table in front of him? I just noticed the Sonichu. And I'm not trying to make light of the situation at all, of the allegations, but... That's completely fucking random right there. The moment he was able to drive, he takes a camper van out in the middle of the woods, which by the way, very secluded area. Let me talk about that. Anytime that someone is taking a camper van somewhere, bringing it out in the desert or the middle of the woods, it, it's very unnecessary because there's RV parks, there's the Walmart parking lot, there's plenty of areas you can go instead of going to a place that's very unfamiliar to you to camp out there, especially in a secluded area. So the real question is, if he was talking to Chris Tyson, who is interested in both men and women, since he was 13 years old and Chris Tyson was in college, why did he take a camper van out to see him and take it out in the middle of the woods in this secluded area and then he met up with him like two days later, like like the picture was posted. This ain't okay. So again, remember these are allegations, which means innocent until proven guilty. All right, I'm not gonna come out right ahead and say that Chris Tyson is guilty of being a pedophile or anything. My main argument is when all that stuff came out about Doctor Disrespect, and we saw next to no evidence, we also saw proof of the people coming out trying to profit off of it. That one individual was like, hey, if my concert sells out, I'll give you guys the dirt on why Dr. Disrespect was banned from Twitch. To this day, we still don't even have a clear picture of what happened with that, but the internet, especially the woke side, the progressives, were quick 
to try to attack Dr. Disrespect with it. And if anybody said they needed more evidence, if anybody said it was innocent till proven guilty, we were accused of sweeping for a pedophile, right? Why are all these people silent? Why is the same, same energy not there? So here's the next clip right here. Here's a, uh, I guess, a, a like a screenshot of some sorts. Wait till my Twitch revenue comes in. Uh, I don't know. I guess I, I don't see what's going on right here. I guess somehow this is being labeled as inappropriate, but I guess it's an interaction between Chris and the minor. I'm not sure if this is in regards to something sexually suggestive, but either way, this is the allegations that have come out, and it's picked up steam today to the point where it's trending. Drama Alert has posted about it. I don't see any major websites really talking about it, but... You could see, here's another tweet. This guy is that young, and you've been talking to him one-on-one -on -one online, and you've been socializing with him and making friends. What is this comment supposed to mean? I'll tell you what it means. It means that you are telling him that he needs to donate $5. Okay, so that makes sense. So that screenshot that we just saw, uh, $5, was in regards to him paying for the nudes that Chris Tyson was going to send him. So this was him negotiating allegedly a price for nudes if that's the case that's sick and inappropriate just like the doctor disrespect stuff was inappropriate which he came out and admitted to it so let's go on this guy is that young and you've been talking to him one-on-one -on -one online and you've been socializing with him and making friends what is this comment supposed to mean I'll tell you what it means. It means that you are telling him that he needs to donate $5 so you can release your nudes or whatever, and you sent him a kissy face. Now, granted, you could say that this is a joke or whatever, this is bro talk, but keep in mind, this is with someone who's like, who's 14, and this is someone Absolutely. who's in college talking to like someone that isn't even in high school yet, really. Or or if he was in high school, he might he just joined it. Um Oh boy. Cause well what 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 I'm seeing here is he says, wait till my Twitch revenue comes in. Winky face. So you yeah. send in kissy face. So if it's in regards to nudes, that's completely inappropriate. And this was back in twenty eighteen. Uh I guess these tweets were out there in the open. This guy printed them out. As of right now, Chris Tyson has deleted all previous tweets from their Twitter account. Their Twitter is clean. If you were an innocent person, and I'm, again, innocent until proven guilty, if I was having allegations like this, deleting stuff, sweeping, that to me is getting rid of evidence. And, and that's not a good look. This is sending you a winky face. And the premise is you're trying to give him enough money so you can get his nudes. Already re really weird considering the fact that this is one of your online friends in this, this massive age difference. And of course, it continues. He says, check again, and he, he tags you, I think. At least that must be you, or wow. he's tagging you. And of course, he says, I posted some fire nudes for you. Please no share. And this is someone that you're talking to that is 14 years old, that you know is 14. So again, and at the end of the day, you cannot be talking about topics like this with someone that is this young. So again, that's allegations. Uh, either way, not a good look. Not a good look at all. Uh, joking about sending nudes. Now, Nick Merckx replied. Speaking of Nick Merckx. Um, on the whole allegation of talking with a Meyer, you could say he said, wow, who would have thought? And and again, if you guys remember, Nick Merckx responded to a situation where there was a whole, like I guess like at a church, some children were found, uh, or there was allegations about a church grooming kids, some of the LGBTQ people or a pride parade. Um, I don't remember the details, but he said, leave the kids alone, and it got him completely removed from Call of Duty. His skin was completely removed from Call of Duty for saying, leave the kids alone. And all these left-wingers were attacking him, calling him all sorts of you know names like being racist and a bigot and transphobe. And then when the whole thing happened with Dr. Disrespect, all these people 
were even attacking Nick Merckx, saying that that was his friend and that he was protecting pedos and stuff. Kind of weird how it works out, right? When when allegations against somebody that's LGBTQ or, or woke come out, it's radio silence. Radio fucking silence. Where's the same energy, guys? Continuing on, you can see Jake the Viking, actually. <laughs> Jake, Jake the Viking, who is actually involved with Mr. B stuff, basically spoke out a bit against it, and he said he wants to talk all that shit, but now look, bum. And now, when somebody else is coming out saying stuff, I remember that was actually involved with the Mr. B stuff. That's when, that's when things start to get a little, a little wild. Now you can see even Sneeko is coming out here saying Chris Tyson allegedly said fourteen year old bad baby was hot. So this is all just like I guess he said she said speculation stuff. My main point with this vi video is Doctor Disrespect got canceled uh, for the same shit. And where's all the lefties at? A lot of people are calling it out. Somebody right here said Dr. Disrespect 2.0. Chris Tyson deleted all his tweets. Are you scared? Let's see if they're even open. Let's see if his... All right, so at least they're not under protected tweets yet, but you can see everything is missing. Everything is missing. So if you look through, people are calling it. Uh, waiting for everyone who went ballistic over Dr. Disrespect talking to a 17-year-old girl to also cancel Chris Tyson for flirting inappropriately with a 13-year-old boy and talking about hentai with him. I want everyone to keep the same energy with Chris Tyson as they did with Dr. Disrespect. All right, so. <laughs> now, the individual did come out, Lava, who's the person that was a minor, according to the allegations, denying all of this. Now, still, uh, who knows the truth, honestly? Like I said, innocent until proven guilty, and I know people might be thinking, oh, that's fence riding and shit. Just keep note that a lot of times when there is situations like this, people will run cover for their abusers. People will also take bribes. Leave it at that. But, again, innocent until proven guilty. You can see that Lava says these, ma these videos are massive lies and twisting the truth. Ava never did anything wrong and just made a few edgy jokes. I was never exploited or taken advantage of. Can you do me a favor and comment on these videos and tell them to stop spreading lies? The situation takes away from children who are actively being exploited every day online. I'm not a victim of anything being claimed in these videos or at all. But people are calling them out. You can see Teddy Feaser says, you're not just a victim. You're a gay victim. SB Tweet says, how much did they pay you? Araku says, you've been groomed, man. You're a victim. You don't have to protect these people. You don't know what you're saying. You were groomed into thinking nothing Chris did was wrong. Stay strong. Chris is a pedophile. Poor guy's in denial. I'm sorry this happened to you, Lava. Don't feel like you need to run cover for the sick monster. You were groomed. You may feel like you weren't a victim, but that doesn't change the fact that you are one. That's called grooming. You're not supposed to feel like it was wrong. You're a victim, whether you think so or not. Chris should be held accountable for his disgusting actions. Because at the end of the day, even if this guy says, oh, I was cool, nothing happened, you are still a minor, and they were being inappropriate with you. Which is why it's fucked that, and again, Dr. Disrespect was completely in the wrong as well, but the same energy from people like Keffels, uh, you know, all the woke progressive people I've seen, I've seen even Tipster make a big deal about Dr. Disrespect. Where's the same energy with Chris Tyson? Uh, the thing that I always see is that they say that this is a way to to put a stigma, to, to put fear, to put transphobic comments and rhetoric out there. They, they run cover just because Chris Tyson is trans. They say that it's promoting hateful rhetoric towards transgender people if we say that he's a groomer and a pedophile. This is the same type of allegations where that Dr. Disrespect had. It's just now it's a LGBTQ member, so they're sweeping. They're quiet about it. Why? That's what I want to know. Where's the same energy, guys? Bring it out there. Let's see it happen. Come on, I want to see you guys call this out, or at least give the same same energy and, and cancel Chris Tyson the same way that y'all try to do to anybody that's not wokey. Let, you know, take the Dr. Disrespect stuff aside. Take the Dr. Disrespect stuff aside. Where's the same energy that you would do to anybody? That was a right winger, right? Where's the same energy on that?
So you can see right here, somebody says, if you have nothing to say about this degeneracy, I'm not too interested in your opinion on Dr. Disrespect. And this was a tweet from a month ago. A month ago, right? Kind of awkward. A month later from the Dr. Disrespect situation, Chris Tyson has an allegation put against him. It's not about right wing or left wing, guys. <laughs> when it comes to this, being inappropriate with children is fucking wrong. And the fact that people try to use it for a political gotcha to, to tear down the other side, that's sickening. In my opinion, children should be left alone, period. Protect the kids, all right? Do what's best for them. When you, when you have a big platform like Chris Tyson in Dr. Disrespect, it needs to be held to a certain accountability. It needs to have a certain amount of etiquette, professionalism. Don't take advantage of younger fans just because you have a power dynamic that you are obsessed over. And you can see right now, Dr. Disrespect is literally trending because of this whole situation. You know, people are saying, if Dr. Disrespect got canceled for this, the minimum should apply to Chris Tyson. No excuses. At 10 years old, this is beyond inappropriate. Conversations, jokes, meetups, no. That's sick. And I completely agree. Uh, you can see even the quartering call that out. Let's go to his tweets about it. Quartering right here. And uh, we could check a look right here. Mr. Beast co-host went trans and abandoned his family to pursue a fetish. It's been like, what, a year? He's already being outed for chatting with a 13-year-old while in his 20s, sending inappropriate messages, etc. Now, everybody's calling this out. If Chris Tyson is using Mr. Beast to have access to young children, he should be immediately address this. I mean, the fact that you're deleting tweets and you're not even making a statement saying, hey, I didn't do this. That's that's fucking wild, in my opinion. Right. Anytime I've ever had an allegation come out, anytime somebody tried to make up a bullshit about me that was damning like that, I would flat out come out and be like, I didn't do this. This is incorrect. This is false. Like. God, stick up for yourself. Chris, deleting all of your tweets, coming out with it, that, that to me, that doesn't look good. It does not look good at all. And you can see he's being roasted. Roasted. Quit Chris Tyson right here. Trending. Trending. Uh, even Andrew Tate. Even Andrew Tate made a video talking it's about it. It's fuck children. Surprise, surprise. Didn't see that one coming. Fuck me. You know what's most amazing to me about this whole scenario? That nobody seems to point out this guy's name. Mr. Beast. They think that's a bit of a strange name. I'm sure I could Google it and there'd be some bullshit reason why he's called Mr. Beast. I'm sure they're called with some stupid story. That when he was a kid, he had a figurine called Beast. And then when he grew up, he wanted to be a figurine. Some fucking garbage. Why would the largest YouTube channel with an affinity towards children in the world be named after the Beast from the Devil? So, I mean, you know, obviously Andrew Tate's take is a little bit more towards Mr. Beast um, and probably sways off into a whole different argument about it. But big influencers are talking about this. This is trending. How much is this going to happen? <laughs> like, what's going to change with Mr. Beast? Is he going to be removing Mr. Beast? Uh, you know, I mean, Chris Tyson for Mr. Beast videos. I mean, this is... Definitely not a good look for the whole situation. I think uh, somebody needs to say something. Mr. Beast hasn't made a statement. Chris Tyson hasn't made a statement. I mean, look right here. Gays Against Groomers demands Chris Tyson be removed from Mr. Beast's videos. This has potential to uh, to cause a huge backlash on Mr. Beast's videos. I haven't even tried to check the comment section yet. I don't even know. Does Mr. Beast moderate his comments pretty heavily? Are we going to see people just attacking Chris Tyson in the comment section? This this could end up not being a good thing for them. But again, you know, this side, they pitchfork Dr. Disrespect. Karma always comes to collect. Where's the same energy from these people, though, that wanted to cancel Dr. Disrespect or Nick Merckx or anybody? Or anybody that has a... Uh, you know, contribute towards the woke agenda. 
And you know what's wild? Looking at this statement from Gays Against Groomers, it seems like they're even against this whole woke agenda towards children. You can see right here, the channel's audience mainly consists of kids, as if there isn't enough gender identity propaganda being shoved down children's throats already. <laughs> you know, that's that's pretty cool. <laughs> This is up from from a website that is like pro LGBTQ that's saying children shouldn't be forced to have all this gender identity propaganda on it, and gays against groomers are even turning against Chris Tyson. So I don't know, guys. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts down below. I know this is gonna be a polarizing topic. My main thing is that you know Dr. Disrespect got canceled for the same thing. What's going on with Chris Tyson? Let me know your guys' thoughts down below. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you on the next one.